Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day, a special new release day on the 12th and a Chew Tuesday as well. We've got two boxes of Super Jumbo coming at you. Brand new 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate you. No combos, all 30 teams are in. And let's do it. Let's roll it, randomize names and teams. One and a three, four times each. One, two, three, and four. Got EA down to the Porterhouse Stake. One and a three, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and four. We got the Mariners down to the White Sox. All right, EA with the Mariners. Harry, you got my Dodgers. Porterhouse Steak with the Reds. EA with the Yankees. Brandon with the Rangers. Brian uh, with the Pirates. Harry with the Rockies. Brian H with the Nats. Karen with the Astros. Harry with the Rays and the Cardinals. Adam with the Red Sox. Steve with the Mets. Adam with the Brewers and the Guardians, Nicholas with the Cubs, Bill with the Marlins, Adam with the Giants, Nicholas with the Royals, Jared with the Padres, Nicholas with the Blue Jays, Eugene with the A's, Chad with the Phillies, Bill with the Tigers, uh, the Porterhouse Stake with the O's, Simon with the Twins, Harry with the Angels and Braves, Jack, Last Ball, Mojo, Diamondbacks, and Darren with the White Sox. Let me alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have a break. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right. Welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So that list right there remains the same. 12-12. You can tell why they, with Tom Brady in this set, I think it's pretty obvious why they moved the release date to today instead of the traditional Wednesday. All right, now let's see which two we're going to do. So one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. I marked these random teams so you know they're from the same case. Good luck, boxes. It's going to be three. One, two, three, left side. So this side right here will be for next time, break three. You don't know what assumptions do. I will say that it makes an ass out of you and me. How about that, Rex? You assumed I wouldn't say it. Wrong again. See? Always full of surprises. You never know what's gonna happen. We got our, I love the super jumbo with the uh, sausage link packs. You're, you're calling the authorities? For what? For, for talking about an animal? On the live stream? Oh, I'm sorry. Just talking about an animal. Five autographs in here, by the way. An all card chip, of course. Uh, let's 
stretch out the old hands a little bit. Let's get prepared, let's get loose. Alright, and once again, all cards ship. Now I know I'm gonna definitely miss some of the uh, some of the key players here, but Matt Shaw is one of them. But our sorting and shipping team have the same key player lists that we do, so whatever I miss, that they, they will catch. But that Matt Shaw will go to the Cubs. That'll be for Nick. There's a no, there's two Wyatts in this set. There's a Wyatt Kroll, there's and a Wyatt Langford is the one, the, the main one we're looking for. Here's our first auto. That's Braden Taylor for the Rays. Harry with Tampa Bay. 107 out of 499. We'll do an auto, quick little auto recap at the end of this break as well. Jacob Wilson is one of those guys. How many names are on this key player? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. But that's not to say those are just the players that we're just going to kind of identify a little early on and have them top loaded. That's not to say that that um, that there aren't other good players in this set as well. And who knows? These, this is prospecting, right? Here's Tommy Hawk, 28 out of 150. You know, in three or four years, you know, in three or four years, they might not be the key players anymore. Other players on this checklist might be. No, they're not the only chase cards. There, there's also some honorable mentions on this list as well that includes these players. And again, th this is Bowman, Bowman Draft. You know, all of those players that we've listed right there, they could end up being, you know, they could end up being uh, busts three or four years from now. And so, and, and then, uh, a completely different set of players may emerge as the as the key players. There's Jake DeLeo to 4.99, but that's the beauty of this product. The beauty of Bowman Draft. There's Luke. Uh, Schil Sch Schleiger? I'm going to go with Schleiger. That'll, that'll be for Adam and the Giants. Yeah, Simon's suggesting check out Down in the Farms Breakdown or Cheat Sheet if you want an in-depth look at prospect teams in the product. I, I use Prospects Live. But I'm sure both Simon's resource, I'm sure, is fine as well. But yeah, there there are there are a number of resources that you can find where they'll they'll break down prospects um, and prospects as it relates to the hobby as well. Uh, Baseball America and Fangraphs are a little more kind of mainstream sites that do little talk prospects as well. Nice, we've got a nice Paul Skeens. Uh, I think what he's called, glass, stained glass? Correct, yeah, people, yeah, they do the work, they do the work for us. Nice one for the number one overall pick. Glass, not stained glass, he's called glass. There's Yankeel Fernandez to 125, that lunar design, which which I like. I think that looks pretty sharp. Rockies, that's gonna go to Harry in Colorado.
And we got a Charlie Soto to 199. Simon with the Twins. And there's Garrett Forrester. Finding Forrester for the Pirates. Brian, you got the Paul Skeens and now an autograph. Wyatt Langford paper. That's going to be for Brandon and the Rangers. Max Clark is another prospect name here. Wyatt Langford Chrome. These speckles not numbered, but again, all card shit. Another stack right there. Good luck. Fractures aren't numbered, by the way. And we got Brock Roden. That will be for EA and the M's. The Brock Lobster. Do, 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 do. Cole Emerson. Also for the M's. And then we got a nice uh, Jacob Wilson glass. Nice one for the A's. It's going to go to Eugene. And we've got an Andrew Pickney, 118 out of 250 for the Nats. That'll be for Brian. Brian H. For the Nationals. Remember, the Nationals get Expo stuff. And we got a Kendall George. Nice to four ninety nine for my Dodgers. Harry has my Dodgers. Uh, three eleven out of four ninety nine. Um, what's a good three eleven? Hey, amber is the color of my energy. Whoa! Do 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 do. Number three eleven. What did uh, what did the beaver say to the tree? Oh boy, we're gonna walk right into this one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Rex. It, it's been nice gnawing you. Yeah, we asked for it. I, I said, here's a noble Meyer. It's a noble, a noble Meyer. They had a Max Meyer. I think they still have Max Meyer. Or did they trade him to the A's? No, maybe they traded JJ Blitted. Do they have two Meyers? They have a Max Meyer and a noble Meyer. 
139 out of 199. Sounds like a, uh, where would Noblemeyer be on the, the periodic table? Blake Mitchell, and there is there is the Noble Meyer to 250. There's a lot of Ma are there a lot of Max? In I guess there is. Max Muncy, Max Meyer, yeah, Max Clark, Max Scherzer. Is there a Max Kepler? Max Kepler. A Maximo Acosta. Isn't there a Maximo Acosta? Wait, Rex, were you saying that someone... Hold on, I forgot to respond to this because I was going to wait during the break. Uh, yes, Rex had let me know that the Giants, an outfielder, Korean outfielder, Jung-Hoo Lee. Uh, are in agreement on a six-year, $113 million deal. There's an opt-out after four. In addition to that, the Giants will owe a posting fee to the Kiwum Heroes, the KBO. This is according to MLBTradeRumors.com. Lee, 25 years old, has been in a highly anticipated free agent for a long time now. It was reported in January that the Kiwum Heroes of the Korean Baseball Organization would post him for the MLB, for MLB clubs after the 2023 campaign. At that point, Lee was coming off an excellent 2022 campaign. Strong plate discipline, but took that game, part of the game, to new heights, walking in 10.5% of plate appearances while striking out just 5.1%. That'll play in any league. No power, though. It hasn't hit more than 14, 15 homers in a season. And finished with a nice slash line of 349, 421, 575. Wow. Got the, uh, got a gold glove for the fifth straight year and also MVP. See, that was in 2022. Apparently, he slipped a little bit in 2023. Ankle injury, this and that, but, but yeah, he's officially with the Giants. Sort of a similar profile to Yoshida. But yeah, for a 25-year-old player. It's not a bad deal. Six years isn't bad. Sounds like a nice uh, top of the lineup kind of guy. Nice Jacob Wilson to 499. Wilson! Goes to Eugene and the A's. Matt Shaw, Bowman first paper for the Cubs for Nick. Yeah, it does sort of seem like that. More, uh, more players from Japan and Korea being highly touted than more recent years. There's Jake DeLeo. Nice 
That's for the fish, Bill, with the Marlins. And younger players as well. I feel like a lot of times players being posted from Korea or Japan don't leave until their late 20s or something like that. But the fact that there are a couple players that are, you know, in their mid 20s. I think also gives them a little more value as well. Cubs may not even get a meeting with Yamamoto. Well, he's taking meetings in LA, so you better, they, someone better fly out here if they really want him. We got Hurston Walder, Waldrep, Atlanta Braves, Harry with the Bravos. We got a Hunter Haas, that lunar, not numbered though. All right, another stack. Yeah, I really haven't, things have been kind of quiet on the Cody Bellinger front. I thought that, I mean, I think once they got, once the Yankees got Juan Soto, it seems like, it seems that they're not going to make a big play for Bellinger. Probably will end up with a decent paycheck this year. Here's Jack Mahoney, or Mahoney. For Colorado, Harry. That's what I thought I heard. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know. It's silly season. You know, who knows what you can really believe anymore. But I thought he was meeting people here in L.A. I think the Yankees representation had flown out here. But yeah, I don't know if Bellinger's going to go there. I know the Giants have been looking to spend money. You know, they try to they try to get Aaron Judge. They try to have made him a big offer. He didn't go. I'm sure they made Otani a big offer. He didn't go. They made. You know, they got to they got to try to lure some free agents there. But that hasn't been too successful. Here's a Blake Mitchell glass for the Royals. That will be for Nicholas. You know, I think they're trying to, Giants are trying to sign some big names, but I guess they signed Correa, but the medical didn't work out. So that's not to say the Giants aren't, here's another, there. there's Max Clark. We're just talking about Max's. Belly and Boris are asking two hundred and fifty million. Oh. I mean, I guess the I think the pitching free agent market is, is is strong. I don't know if the hitting market is terribly strong. So maybe Bellinger does get that paycheck. Back here, anything, anything especial back here? Yeah, a yellow lunar, 68 to 75. Colton Ledbetter. That'll go to Tampa Bay. That's going to be for Harry. Let's 
Well, that's the thing. I mean, try to give Bellinger two hundred fifty million dollars, one good season out of the last like three or four. Which which Bellinger? You know, I guess if they convince everybody, hey, it was just health, not a decline in skills. If they can convince people of that, someone will do it. It's Hans Montero to one ninety nine. I'm not sure if I want to be the team that that takes that gamble on a long-term deal. I mean, at $250 million, I mean, we're probably look, talking, what, six years? There's Paul Wilson. Six, seven years or something like that. Fifty-three out of ninety-nine. Yeah, that's true. Rex, yeah, Bellinger kind of revived his career with the Cubs, and Jason Hayward did the same with the Dodgers. Although, to be fair, the Dodgers are a little more are are well known to have uh, take take on reclamation projects and, and for the most part be successful with them. Not sure if the Cubs have that same reputation. So it was a surprise to see Bellinger bounce back in, in such a way. Yeah, I still th I, I I still laugh at that. I think that's should I wouldn't give Bellinger more than three years. I still laugh at that. Seven years, one fifty. There's Max Clark and a uh, Felnin Celestin. Max Clark for Detroit, that'll be for Bill. The Celestin will be for EA and the Mariners. He's one of their uh, top prospects. And of course, Wyatt Langford's Bowman first. Final stack coming up. Let's not forget Bowman first paper, Paul Skeens. I mean, some team has to be pretty desperate for Bellinger services if they're going to risk 10 years, 250 or something like that. I mean, I, I personally, obviously I don't have the medical information, but I personally would be, would be a little scared to do that. Would I give Bellinger like a three-year deal? Sure. Here's Kemp Alderman. Nice, good segue, Duncan. That's a professional segue right there. Speaking of bellies, Belichick and the Pats, are they parting ways at the end of the season? That seems to be, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've heard anyone actually have a source, even an unnamed source, even mention that. But I feel like a lot of people have been connecting dots and speculating on that. That, you know, Belichick may get like some sort of golden handshake or something. Hey, you know, here's another Max right there, Max Anderson. You know, kind of give him a golden handshake or whatever they call it and say, hey, thanks for your service to the, to the New England Patriots. We have a Ooh, what's this? Nice Jacob Gonzalez. Are these short prints? Here's Jackson Bowmeister. It's 250 for the O's, Darren Porter. But they'll just give him a nice little cush job in the, uh, in the front office. Something like that. So this Jacob Gonzalez will go to the White Sox. Darren, I don't know if this is a shorter print or not, but... Still looks pretty cool. Haven't seen those. And that's your break, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, two boxes of 2023 Bowman uh, Draft Baseball Super Jumbo. The last two boxes of the case are in the store right now. 
So get into it, jazpiececasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.